welcome back to our channel it's Bella here in today's tutorial I created this makeup look for you guys so if you want to see how I achieved the look then just go ahead and keep on watching to be entered in this month's giveaway make sure that you give this video a thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed to our channel make sure that you hit that bell button and turn your post notifications on so that you never miss a video and if you are located in the United States then comment done down below to be automatically entered so to prime my eyes, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm just applying it all over my eyelid and then I always blend it with a damp beauty sponge and then I set everything in place with translucent powder. that I went in with is the Flutter By palette from Colourpop Cosmetics and this is what it looks like on the outside and this is what it looks like on the inside. I love all of the shades in the palette. It's super pigmented and you can create a dramatic look or a natural look with this palette. The first shade that I went in with is the shade Lush which is a really cool tone beige shade and I picked it up with a fluffy brush and I put this shade in my crease going in back and forth motions and this is just going to be the background shade before we go in with some darker eyeshadows so you do not have to be too precise with this step but definitely make sure that you apply enough eyeshadow to where you're going to have a nice base Next, I went in with the eyeshadow Made to Last, which is a little bit deeper than the first eyeshadow that we went in with, and I went in with a angled brush. And I started to map out where I want to add depth in my crease, a little bit above my actual crease, so that when I open my eye fully, it frames my eye socket versus my crease if that makes sense. So I want that shade to show whether my eye is open or closed. And I pretty much always like to use a defined angled brush because it just has the most precise application. And then I went into the shade Lush with a blending brush. And I just went directly over top of that line going in back and forth motions and circular motions just to make sure that it is nice and blended because even though we want definition in the crease we still want it to be nice and blended and normally I would go in with concealer and clean up my lid but for this look I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step because I am going in with the Colourpop Jelly Much eyeshadow so it's so pigmented that you really don't need to um, cut the crease or clean up the lid because it's just super pigmented and you guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute But the shade that I went in with is strawberry jam, and it's a really beautiful coppery corally foiled shade And I just applied this all over my lid and as you guys can see this is super super pigmented and foiled and I usually pick it up out of the pan and then put it on the back of my hand a little bit and then apply it to my eyelid because if you just go straight in and then apply it on your eyelid um, it could sometimes be a little bit chunky because it's just that pigmented so I would definitely recommend thinning it out on the back of your hand and then applying it. And next I went in with my Sophie Bella Lashes in the style Bahama. I'll always leave a link in the description box down below for those of you guys that want to check out our lash brand. And I quickly want to thank all of you guys that have placed an order with us. It honestly means so, so much to us. But I really like the style Bahama because it is super dense, but it's not super long. So you can have the volume that you want and still be able to see the eyeshadow look that you created. 
And then I went in with my Anastasia Omrizi highlighter just to highlight that inner tear duct and just really open up the eye. Next, I went in with the Bomb Cosmetics Mr. Right Eyeliner Pencil. And this is a nude eyeliner pencil. I feel like the main reason why I like to use this from time to time is it just makes your eyes appear a little bit bigger. So I just apply it in my waterline. And I've really been liking how this looks. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I went in with that first shade that we went in with, Lush. And I just apply that to my lower lashes going in back and forth motions, mainly focusing it on the outer edge. And then I went back into that Jelly Much eyeshadow from ColourPop in the shade Strawberry Jam and I just decided to apply this right on my lash line. And I don't typically like to apply a shimmer to my lower lashes but I really like how it looked in this look. And the last thing that I did was I applied some lower lash mascara. And this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Bye!